Well, hello you guys, I'm back. Welcome to Retro Direction again. And um, this is another boss fight from Dark Souls 3. It's the final boss. It's the Lord of Cinder himself. A real badass knight. Anyway, first of all, again, rule of thumb, have a massive health bar. So you can take hits like that. Now, this is... A, this isn't necessarily the uh, correct way of doing it. I'm just greedy with hits. Now, I'm using a dark-infused Lothric Knight Sword. Now, dark does a lot of damage against the Lord of Cinder. He hates it. He doesn't like lightning either. But I'm fine with a dark sword. It's good. Now, he's essentially a knight. So you treat him as one. So, this is the second phase. Now, when that triggers watch this bit this is really important he's gonna to jump towards you dodge away and keep rolling back now when he raises his sword in the air he's gonna do a very massively damaging five hit combination attack if you don't have a big health bar he'll likely deplete the whole lot or three quarters of it so just do plenty of dodging or blocking, or both. Now, when he brings his hand back, he'll grab you. Easily avoidable. Just keep wailing on him. And he's yours. That's the final boss done. Dark Infused Lothric Knight Sword, or Dark Infused Bastard Sword, Anri Sword with Bleed is fantastic against him. Uh, ciao for now.